My goodness, that was exciting.
walk away, but don't get full of yourself. you at finales, Varric? I'm expecting some practical experience fairly soon. Make it a good one, will you? For you, madam, endless sunsets and roses. Varric. And the swift hand of the law sweeping all aside. I thought it went unsaid. A dragon attacked your mine. Everyone is dead. Dear Maker, what of my equipment? Did it seem salvageable? No, and neither did the workers who died trying to save it. Oh, my heart. So many years of investment. I am ruined. Ruined. I'm sorry, champion. I appreciate your help. But I sank all my coin into that rotten mine. I have nothing left to pay you. Give me the bone pit. Perhaps in a few years I can get it back in order. What? Ha! Huh. Fine. Take it. I wash my hands of this cursed venture. I took this fire gland from a high dragon just outside the city. You killed a high dragon? Incredible. Let me see the fire gland. It was either her life or mine. I chose mine. And that I am glad to hear. This fire gland is a remarkable specimen. Wait here. I know exactly what I can craft from this. This turned out beautifully. Something worthy of our champion. I hope you can put it to good use. Flowers? I should get flowers for my hair. Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. It must have taken a lot of practice to say that all in one breath. It's mostly to impress the ladies, I assure you. I've come to ask your help, champion. Hiding among the Dalish is an elven assassin I've been chasing for months. He's a master manipulator who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely a duty to Antiva, but after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. Your assassin is no fool. I doubt the Dalish would hand a fellow elf over to you, murderer or no. Ah, so you see my problem. Where that elf goes, death follows. He must be captured quickly. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there.
I don't know how you live the way you do, blithely ignoring the consequences of your actions. This is about the Canari thing, isn't it? I'm not ignoring it, I just recognize that it happened years ago. There's this fantastic thing called moving on. You should try it sometime. Has it occurred to you that Kirkwall is only just recovering from the Canari attack? And you want me to... what? Flog myself daily? Has it occurred to you that maybe there's no justice in the world? Other than that voice you keep in your head. It is good to be among my people again. Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Did you need something? I hear there is a criminal hiding among the Dalish. He is not among us. This criminal of yours is set up in a cave away from our camp. He said there would be people looking for him, and to tell anyone who asked where he was. I thought the point of hiding was not to be found. He said he didn't want to endanger our people by asking us to lie for him. Not something you'd expect from a cruel and evil murderer, is it? He'll be waiting for you at the cave. Good luck trying to reach him, however. This assassin is strange indeed. Why do you think he would give away his position? The hunters chased away another one last night. Too many Shemlin are coming here. We have to move soon. Can't you talk to the Keeper? Reason with her. I tried. She's made up her mind. Another one. Too many of you Shemlin around lately. What other Shemlin have been here? Oh, traitors, mercenaries, chantry types trying to convert us with their fine talk and veiled threats. We've had enough of all that, thank you very much. You have taken on a heavy burden, Hawk. May the creators watch over you. Andarana Tishan, child. You are always welcome among the people. This assassin is strange indeed. Why do you think he would give away his position? From the look of these traps, the assassin was definitely expecting company. You, I wasn't expecting. I thought I smelled uneven leather. <laughs> Isabella! If it isn't my favorite pirate wench. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead by now? I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I've heard about you. You helped the hero of Ferelden stop the Blight. At your service, my friend. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. How do you know I'm the champion? Slayer of Kunari, Deep Roads Explorer, and may I say, one fine specimen of manhood? You underestimate your fame. How do you two know each other? 
How does anyone know Isabella? Yes, well, you'll never know Isabella again if you keep that up. I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan Crows. We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or, I should say, they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, all their men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, if you were a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. I thought you'd be taller. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife? Butchered his parents? Sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? I suppose you aren't a murderer at all, then. Oh, indeed I am. Uh, but technically, I imagine everyone here can rightfully claim that title. Bring me to Nancio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The Crows do not like loose ends. Unlike myself. But you are a man who can clearly handle himself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nancio. Which will it be, I wonder? You're very compliant for a fugitive. Compliant, yes, and very bendy. But truthfully, I know when I am outmatched. I would rather take my chances against the Crows. You know him best. What do you think? I've had better. I meant about letting him go or not. Oh, right. I'd let him go. I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. I let your assassin go. Was I not supposed to do that? You had him? And you let him go? I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. <laughs> Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the Warden, <laughs> I will never guess. When I'm done, they'll have to send Nuncio and his men back to Antiva in a wine cask. <laughs> now that I would pay to see. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here. Yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. Watch the shadows! Teach you to mess with a maid! Well, that was fun. I'm sure you wish to loot the camp, yes? Talk to me when you're done. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. My dear Isabella, 
It has been a delight to see you again. You travel in fine company. That's it? You're leaving? What about sex? <laughs> Still blunt as a dwarven hammer, huh? Well, why not? We just cut down a swath of men. We're still covered in blood. Yes, invigorating, isn't it? You are, of course, welcome to join us, champion. I'm not interested. Of course, Isabella. Ha! <laughs> are we sure he was part of a guild of assassins? Is this for me? It's beautiful. Do you know what it is? I only know that it was made by the Dalish. It's Sylvanwood. Rare as diamonds. You only find it in very old, very wild places. The carvings tell a story of the betrayal. The dread wolf tricking all the gods away from the world. Start at the beginning. What happened to the gods? Long ago, there were two clans of gods. The creators looked after the people. The forgotten ones preyed upon us. And one god who was neither. Than Harrel, the dread wolf. He was kin to the creators, and in the old days often helped them in their endless war against the forgotten ones. I assume he got tired of helping. That he did. Than Harrel was clever. He could walk among both clans of gods without fear, and both believed he was one of them. He went to each side, and told them the other had forged a terrible weapon, a blade that would end the war. He told the creators it was forged in the heavens, and the Forgotten Ones that it was hidden in the abyss. And when the gods went seeking it, he sealed them both in their realms forever. Now he alone is left in the world. I imagine the Dalish don't depict the doom of their gods just for decoration. Not... exactly, no. This was made for a Keeper, you see. Guarding a clan from the Dread Wolf is a Keeper's place. I had one of these once. And I gave it back, Master Anas. Mercy, sir. Mercy. I've done nothing wrong. You harbored a known apostate. What crime is feeding my cousin? She was whipped, half starving. It is a crime against the Maker. The sentence is. Intruders! Deal with them! So, you've done well for yourself. I had my doubts the first time I saw you, but I guess there was something to that hawk fellow Leandra ran off with after all. You made a pretty good son, anyway. Your mother would be proud. 
I just wish Mother had lived to see me become champion. I know, Leandra. And she'd be absolutely glowing from all the praise that's been heaped on you. I don't say this often, but we're the only family we've both got left. For a long time, I thought the Amel line in Kirkwall would end at me. I'm glad you've pulled it out of the grave. Leave that alone. There are things in my life that don't actually involve you, you know. Stay out of my business, boy. That note mentioned the gem of Kereshek. What's that? It's nothing. Never mind. If you're worried about who sent the note, I can go in your place. Did I ask for that? I don't know who sent it, and I don't want to. I lost everything chasing that gem. Our fortune, our home, even Mara. Who's Mara? She's... None of your concern. That's who she is. Why don't you head back to your fancy house in Hightown and stay out of my damn business? Are you the ones who sent the note about the gem of Kereshek? We were beginning to think you wouldn't show. It's rude to keep people waiting, you know? It's not like I don't got things to do. To inconvenience an upstanding citizen such as yourself. My, where are my manners? Don't talk down to me. I ain't stupid. See, we was hired to give you a note. But this gem of Kirashek thing the note talks about, we decided we want that instead. You better hand it over. I'm surprised you know what a note is, let alone know how to read one. I don't need to know how to read. All I need to know is which end of the sword goes where. We aren't going anywhere without that gem. Wallet Mallet? What a name that is. What do you want now? I found this note on a thug who attacked me. It mentions your Wallop Mallet. <laughs> Haven't played Wallop since I was a kid. Still got my mallet up on the wall, though. Last time I was any good at something. regret it? What happened with your sister, I mean? No. You don't wish that maybe you haven't found her again? Whatever I wish, it is already done. You're lucky then. There are so many things I wish I could undo. The Venadal tree is where we need to go. I can't believe they used the wood from a Venandal tree to make this wallop mallet. It's just a child's toy. Wallop mallet? You must be the one I'm supposed to give this note to. This person is like an underpaid brothel wench. He enjoys leading us on. I was given a few coins to hand this over to whoever came asking about wallop mallets. Unfortunately, the person was hooded, and it was dark. I didn't get a good look. Obviously a human, though. No mistaking that. Even hooded, you all look alike. A warehouse? I don't like being led around. Unless leashes are involved. And they're not. Fish, fish and more fish. Poor. Let's look for those crates. Thank you. 
I wonder what's in these crates. Something seems off. It's a trap! I'd like to pay a visit to whoever is setting up these fun little games. It's time to end this charade. So, Gamlin couldn't even be bothered to come himself. I should have expected he'd send you, cousin. I didn't know you had such a pretty little cousin, Hawk. I have a cousin. Gamlin never told you. I... Of course he didn't. Why would he? Sorry to interrupt this touching family reunion. But we have unfinished business here. Veld! What are you doing here? Mechel is dead. That bastard killed him. What's a Mechel? My brother! Mechel was my brother! And you killed him! That doesn't make sense. Mechel was just supposed to hand over the note. You really think we didn't read it? We know about the gem Sherrard. Hand it over. I won't let Mechel's death be for nothing. You let your brother go up against someone like Hawk for a stupid gem? You know what? I did find the gem, but you're not getting your pathetic little hands on it, Veld. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. <laughs> I'll cut you good! You brought this on yourself, you know. Get him off me! Get him off me! You're pretty useful in a fight. You don't take after Gamlin at all. And I wouldn't have taken you for his daughter. What with being able to fight? I guess I should take that as a compliment. My mother, Mara. She left Gamlin before I was born. He was so fixated on finding that stupid gem. I doubt he even noticed she was gone. She told me about Gamlin before she died last year. I didn't even know about him. You told Veld you had the gem. Were you lying? Not at all. I found the gem. I managed to pull off what Gamlin couldn't. Next time you want to talk to someone, maybe try knocking on their door first. Oh yes, that sounds brilliant. Just show up on his doorstep and say, Hi, I'm your daughter. I doubt that would go over well. I just wanted to see, I don't know, how far he'd go for something he really wanted. And then he doesn't even show up. I baited him with the one thing I thought would get his attention. He's got some good qualities. You might be surprised. Really? What do you think I should do? I think you should go talk to Gamlin. 
Does he even know about you? I... I'm not sure. Having family might be more worthwhile than you think. Maybe give him a chance before you write him off. I think I will. Having a cousin turned out to be a good thing. Maybe having a father will too. You've got to realize this is kind of new to me. I didn't know Mara had a baby. If I did, I would have, I don't know, gone after her or something. She used to say I was so much like you, and I didn't even know who you were. I guess I wanted to see for myself. I need some time to think about all this, but if it's all right, I'd like to come back and talk more. I think I'd like that. Uh, keep, um, uh, safe. Looks like you two had a good talk. It was bloody awkward, that's what. I was worried she wouldn't come find you. I think you need each other. You know, I may not say this very often, but I'm glad you're one of the family. But seriously, next time, stay out of my damn business, boy. I hear you've been slipping it to that pirate slut from the hanged man. The bitch turned me down flat. Champion? It's Leha. Do you remember me? You saved me from that murderer when I was a kid. Sorry, Captain. I don't mean to. Not at all. Go on. I wanted to say thank you. I wasn't thinking straight the day you saved me. That monster deserved what he got. Captain? Dismissed. She joined the guard a few months back. She's got a good understanding of what we're up against. Nonsense. Meredith's the best thing that's ever happened to this city. She keeps us safe. Surprise. Uh... I see. It's from your homeland. It's a Ravani talisman. It's a Ravani fertility talisman. These petal-like shapes represent certain fleshy bits. And this protrusion is, well, just look. You're an expert on Ravani talismans, are you? My mother was a Ravani seer, or rather she pretended to be. She knew enough about the old tribal practices to put on a convincing act. She used to hand these things out to women all the time. Ah. Oh dear. And all this time I thought it was just a flower. Ravani women would wear these so that their wombs would be fruitful and their marriages blessed with many children. Or when they wished for... love. Who needs love? I was just hoping for plain old lust. <laughs> lust? Lust I can manage. I've got a stiff drink with your name on it. What's the word on the street? The craziest thing. Apparently, the pigeon population has taken a nosedive in Ferelden. Weird, huh? What kind of sick individual preys on those innocent things? Thanks. I should go. Any time. It's three bits for a mug. What? Do you think I'm made of coin?
You've had luck on your travels. A new letter on your desk awaits your attention. Here, boy. I've something to wet your teeth on. Freshly confiscated mutton just for you. Have at it. Just checking on my best guardsman. He's helping the men to learn healthy respect and how to run. <laughs> 